All right, guys, hope you're doing good. This is Rico here. Welcome back to the channel. And for today's video, I want to basically explain why most business coaches should start selling a done for you service instead of providing coaching or consulting. By the way, guys, make sure to stick till the end because I will also talk about why marketing agencies should start leveraging e learning products or done with you slash do it yourself solutions on top of their marketing service, as well as how to actually transition from having something that is hard to sell and easy to deliver too easy to sell, okay? So make sure to stick to the end. And this is the type of videos that triggers people up and that's ultimately my goal with this video in full transparency. So make sure to watch this video to exit since it's just going to save you a lot of time and ultimately you can just consume the information and implement everything that I'm going to be walking you over, okay? So guys, the problem with most coaching offers or with most coaching businesses or any sort of consulting information that is sold in any way, in any way shape or form is that the moment that you consume any piece of information, immediately that piece of information loses value in the head of your prospects or your clients in this case okay and what ends up happening is that most coaches don't have uuis or unique useful insights that they can share or that they can essentially come up with in the marketplace why because if you think about it the people who rule that info marketing space are entrepreneurs who come up with unique answers unique solutions that allow them to intersect the entire industry to make money and some examples of this is, is for example people such as sam owens cole gordon even iman gatsi at scale maybe he was not the first one to to come up with the idea of smma but he was the one that made it popular right what ends up happening is that people for example cole gordon was the first one to come in and say hey we'll place appointment setters who book x amount of calls otherwise you don't pay and then from that solution you start to get a lot of people who started to say hey i will be i will give bas i will give appointment setters i will give appointments etc you see like variations of that offer that i'm not going to say that they don't work for you can make a lot of money with those type of offers but what i'm trying to say is that people most often than not they only leverage strengths of people that they bought programs from okay so another example that i can give you about is me okay here is enrique i came up with a concept of micro vsls i also came up with a concept of auto converting funnels and I also started to talk a lot about DM slash messenger ads using text-based creatives because that allowed for words to do, you know, the raising the hand part of the equation of the actual paid campaign. And now all of a sudden people start to talk about it. And what ends up happening is that these people sell them, sell their clients on their own solutions. And guess what? They're always going to be limited to either what they learn from my program or what they learn from my YouTube videos, okay? Which is what most people are nowadays selling you 7,000. $500 programs for. The biggest problem that I see again with most business coaches is that they really don't have unique useful insights. They're, the only insight that these people are selling you on are on whatever they bought their, their mentor information from. So for example, we have people such as Trey Cogram who started to learn organic marketing, etc., from people such as Sam Owens, etc. but he was one of the first ones to begin with talking about organic marketing. Then from Trey Cogram, we have people such as Bastian Slot, who started to preach organic marketing from people such as Bastian Slot. You have people such as Richard Yu, who started to sell also more organic marketing. I was on Richard Yu organic marketing program. Then Bastian Slot saw a different opportunity selling appointment setting as an opportunity. So he started to sell appointment setters, following also Cole Gordon. Okay. So Cole Gordon, Bastian Slot. So he started appointment setting coaching offers, then Richard, you start to copy also the appointment setting offer, and then ultimately ended up copying the appointment setting offer, okay? So what I'm trying to say, guys, and this is not to batch or talk trash about any single entrepreneur there. As a matter of fact, that's part of the game. Ultimately, evolution comes from improving on previous insights and previous things that we learn from other people that give us information, right? But the point I'm trying to make is that most business coaches, especially if you don't have a big audience, especially if you don't have budget to actually start getting money from ads, most business coaches, honestly, they just sell whatever they learn from their previous mentor. And by definition, you're always going to be, if you're selling just the auto-converting funnels that you learn from me, or you start to sell the micro VSL funnels that you learn from me, or start, you start selling DM ads or messenger ads like you probably learned from me using text-based creatives, you're only going to be limited, you're going to always be limited by whatever I know and whatever I come up with from in, in terms of unique useful insights. So am I saying that you should stop your coaching business? No, by any means. What I'm saying is at, at least try to come up with a unique way to talk about the mechanism that you're selling. That way, worst case scenario, you at least raise the hand of, of some prospects, okay? Because again, if you're just selling whatever you bought from your coach, 
then guess what guys you're going to always be second in business and second in business is the one the first one to run out of business okay so this is the first reason why guys the most business coaches honestly don't have any unique useful insight second reason why is because think about something guys coaching consulting and anything that has to do with information is a very personalized based type of business model okay what this means is that People buy from you, not only because of the insights, not only because of the mechanism that you are preaching, but more specifically because of who you are and what you represent in their head. That's why offers and programs that are preaching you and building what they call follower ads are now basically crushing it so much. Why? Because you are just getting more eyeballs to see who you are and by, with, as time goes by, by they consume your content, by they actually engaging with you, they end up to develop that sense of familiarity with you and who, what you stand for. So if you are selling a coaching or consulting offer, guess what? You are necessarily having to increase, that, improve the trust of your prospects by in whatever way, shape or form developing that brand. That said, guys, brand is not the same thing as an audience. And the problem with this type of approaches where people have you just having to do raw dogging reels and TikToks, etc., is that you can get followers, but those people are not your brand. As a matter of fact, I would go as far to say that if you have not done anything worth it, you don't even have a brand. Like, what is your brand going to be on? You think about it, guys. Like, a brand is something that immediately, when you start to think about something, you associate that concept with that person. So for example, if you think about high ticket sales, you immediately think about, again, Cole Gordon or Jeremy Miner. If you think about SMMA or agency, marketing agencies, you think about Iman Gatsi. Make sense? So ultimately, what you need to be able to do is develop such a deep skill set in something that is unique and different from all of the other things that people already have brands on so that you can start to really develop that brand that in the long term is going to pay off more than anything else. And the problem is that most people out there are saying, hey, just start a YouTube channel and start running ads for followers. And yeah, I mean, of course, that's important to get money, to start to get nurturing, etc. But that, that's not a brand, okay? Don't get it twisted. And the problem with this approach, guys, is that most people will never be able to build a brand simply because they haven't done shit in their life. So what are they going to make the brand on? Make sense? So that's why instead, and this is why we actually get to the third reason why most business coaches shouldn't be selling uh, done with you information product, and what they should be doing instead is setting a done for you outcome, okay? And let me explain why, because there are actually two reasons why. The first one is that selling coaching and selling information is a hard to sell, but easy to deliver model, okay? If you think about it, when, when you sell a course or a coaching or a consulting package, what you're selling is, especially if you're doing some sort of group coaching like most people do, all of what you're selling is, hey, this is my course and I will see you two times per week and we are going to catch up in there. Bye. Okay. That's how you deliver most of their coaching services. I mean, of course, there are exceptions, there are variants of this, but you get my point. That's something that is hard to sell because everybody does it, but it's super easy to deliver. Especially if you're not making, I don't know, 30, 40K per month, what you should be doing instead is not this, but instead selling something that is easy to sell, even if it's harder to deliver. Why? Because that way you just start to improve your skills, you start, you start to learn about certain things that are super necessary in the long term, and that way you can right now do the effort that is then, then required to get to this point in here where you can have uh, easy to deliver type of things, okay? So that's why we want to start with a done for you package, okay? Because with done for you services, it doesn't matter your brand. It, I mean, of course your brand matters a lot, honestly, but it doesn't matter your personality. It doesn't matter almost the amount of content that you have out there. Of course, that helps and you should be creating content. But since you're going to do a done for you service, ultimately you're just providing an outcome. They don't need to have the level of trust for them to, to pay you 5K to get into a course that they need to do the work when instead you can say, hey, pay me 5, 10K, I will give you this outcome. And the beauty of everything that I'm just saying right now is that if you start to market the done for you heavy lifting part of the offer and for whatever reason people don't buy you can always downsell them on a consulting or coaching package and if they cannot buy to this then you can always downsell them to a course make sense so if you're always just trying to actively market this part in here you're always going to be able to go to the lower side of the spectrum and sell to more people who can afford the done for you offer in case you're just i don't know afraid of losing clients. The same thing happens, and this is something that I learned from paid ads. I, I would not talk so much about this, maybe for a later video. But when it comes to paid ads, if you are talking, if, for example, if you make an ad and you're targeting coaches making 50K per month, and this is the people you're going after, you're always going to go, for, you're, of course, you're going to start getting people who are making 50K per month. Mind blowing, right? But guess what? 
fun enough, people who are at, let's say, 10K per month are also going to resonate with this. And people who are at zero per month or 5K per month, guess what? They are also going to resonate with this. So when you market to the highest level possible group of people that you can, you get everyone. If you're trying to sell courses to beginners and you're doing done with you coaching offers that are for people making 10K, you only get maybe these people and these people in here. Instead, when you go for a sophisticated, heavy lifting type of work, you can start getting amazing results because you can tackle these people and then you can go to everybody else, if that makes sense, okay? That's why it's so powerful. And not only that, the amount of results that you deliver is just so irrefutable in the, to, the, to the point that ultimately you start to build a brand on the results and the outcome that people just associate you with. This is the reason why I believe that most business coaches or B2B consultants should pivot to a more of a done-for-you offer so that they can then, based on those insights, get deliver outcomes and start, now that they have something to back up their, their claims and back up the things that they have done, develop a brand. And also develop the UUIs so that later on down the road, you can go for that either route once you are actually at that stage, okay? So stage one is always going to be essentially zero, where you should be just doing a startup service so that you can get the knowledge and start to get some outcomes, okay? That's number one. Number two, I would say is, um, start doing, I don't want to say like promote to offer, just keep doing the service, but maybe downsell people to some sort of consulting type of offer. And then over here, you can decide what you want to do. Like, do you want to keep scaling this to the moon? I think that most people should stick here, but if you just want to go the easy route, now that you have outcomes, now that you have a brand, and now that people associate you with something, then you can just go strictly to the coaching slash consulting slash course business model and have an easy to deliver life, if that makes sense. So this is the roadmap, guys. I hope this video was helpful. If you want us to license and manage the client acquisition systems for your marketing agency or coaching business, go ahead to the first video that you're going to find in the description so that you can see how it works. Or if you're ready to go, just book your one-on-one -on -one consult with the link in the description. That's it, guys. Love you all. See you guys in the next one. Hope you like this and subscribe to the channel. Bye.